Well, Coldwater Wrestling is getting ready for the district tournament, which will be held over the weekend. And the Cavs have high hopes as four wrestlers earned sectional crowns last weekend. And one of those winners was senior Justin Post. The 220-pounder is a subject of this week's OIO Prep Profile. Justin Post has been wrestling since sixth grade, following his sibling's lead. I tried basketball and everything, I wasn't very good. So and then my brother was in wrestling, so I decided to follow in his footsteps. That was a good decision. Post placed seventh last year in the state tournament, and this year's victory at sectional sets him up nicely for the next round. To win that, it really gives you a good seat at districts and just helps you to go farther in districts and competition won't be as hard as it should be. So a hard work and win for Justin Post. Justin has been nearly perfect this year, boasting a 46-1 record. So what happened during that lone loss? Uh, I got caught in a headlock by a Division II wrestler, so he's good though, so it's all right. He also reached a milestone this season by earning his 100th career victory back in November. Yeah, it's a big accomplishment, you know, that's one of those things, you know, kids go after, and then, you know, the thing I want, you know, kids to do though, and to get that hurt, you know, not to be satisfied, and we've preached all the time, you know, never be satisfied of where you are, always set higher goals and try to surpass somebody else ahead of you. Although his high school career on the mat is nearing its end, the senior has a lot to be proud of. All your hard work that you've been doing over the past your entire career wrestling is just paying off, so it's just a good feeling. Uh, he's very good on his feet, um, and I, I think that's, you know, contribute to his hard work he's put in during the off season. Um, and, you know, during the season also, but he puts a lot of time in during the offseason wrestling tournaments and stuff. Post and the rest of the team's work ethic have fueled their success, something they hope to build on right through the state tournament. I mean, you got to work at everything you do, so. It says a lot about our kids and how hard they work in the offseason and during the season. It shows you what you can do if you work hard, and I'm um, just very proud of all these kids and all the hard work they do, and it, and it definitely shows. In cold water, I'm Matt Finkel with the Sports Report.